Hey folks, I haven't done a flashlight uh, commentary discussion yet. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get into this, but I um, bought one, a nicer flashlight just to try out, have around the house. I don't think you can have really enough flashlights uh, around your house just for emergencies. So I have read and heard good things about the Phoenix flashlights. So I got the Phoenix PD-30. Um, so I've been playing around with it a little bit. It comes with this really cool uh, kind of case or, uh, or strap. You can put the flashlight right in here. The cover goes over it and it fits in there real good. It has a kind of a, an extra clip here and you can put it on a backpack, carabiner, um, whatever you need to do there. So that's neat. And then it comes with a um, belt loop, right? And what I also like is the ability to open this part up, slide your belt through here, or just a, like a belt buckle even, or part of your jeans, and uh, just kind of loop it around that way so you can put it on and off real fast. Not that I ever wear that or, you know, walk around out, outdoors or anything with that, but you know, tooling around the house on the weekend or fixing computers or whatever. It's pretty handy. Um, so actually, I love the case. It's kind of a surprise sheath, I guess. So onto the flashlight. Uh, it's pretty bright in here. It's not going to work very well um, on the video here, but pretty small in size. Uh, I think this one goes up to 220 lumens in turbo mode. It has about six different modes of brightness. Um, let's see what else. Normal uh, light there. And it's an LED light. To me, I think that's pretty normal because I think all the new flashlights are coming with that. Um, it's, it was lighter than what I expected, even with the batteries in it. It was a lot lighter. Um, I was su surprised about that. I think that's a good thing. Um, you can stand it up on the base like that in lantern mode. So that, that's pretty sweet. There's no buttons on the actual round part of the flashlight. The main on and off button is on the bottom here. You can see it's... Uh, I don't, know. I don't know what you call that, but just uh, the button's groove there gives you a little bit more traction. So it's just on and off like that. Okay. Pretty handy. And you basically twist the flashlight like this to go through the different modes. Um, let's see how I can do this. Go click it on once. You just barely tap it and it goes to the next mode. It's like an SOS mode there. Okay. Let me see if I can do it. Turbo mode is all the way to the left. Before I ordered it, I didn't quite understand how that worked. But See if I can get that to work. Okay, that's turbo mode. It should be, that's the brightest. The camera is, um, plant is re readjusting the exposure, right? When I turn it on and off. So <laughs> there's a little bit of that going on. It's not fully the light. Um, pretty nice light, small in size. Um, It'll be my primary light for things. I have noticed that if I wanted to go to that turbo mode setting, I don't know if you noticed on the, when I originally did that, you need to go all the way far to the left. And so I've done it three times on the video here. The first time, it didn't work actually. I don't know if you caught that, but all the way to the left and I push the button and that's turbo mode. Um, what I had to do when it didn't work is I had to push it to the right and then back and it worked. So uh, that's one thing I, I don't know if I'm just expecting something different there, but 
that was kind of unique. Oh yeah, and then uh, turbo mode again. You got the strobe here. It's probably more annoying to people than anything. It is, it is bright. You don't want to get flashed in the eyes with it, but um, I would say when I first got it and was playing around with it, and uh, you know, I shut the light off in the room, and I would say I wasn't overly wowed by the the brightness. Um, you know, just kind of thought, yeah, it's a bright light. But I had another, uh, I think, 14 lumen uh, flashlight with me, and I can't say that I really saw the huge difference between 14 lumens and 220 lumens. Again, it was a test indoors. Um, so I guess the wow factor when I got it wasn't as high as what I was expecting. Maybe my expectations were too high. Um, I would say the beam on this thing is pretty narrow, uh, spot oriented, where some of the other ones I have are pretty wide. For me, I think I like the spot better. Um, but you know, a high recommendation on the light here. It's, it's kind of expensive. I got it off the internet. Um, yeah, I think I paid like, it was in the fifties, uh, for this light, maybe low sixties. Um, it's certainly a premium for, for a flashlight. I think if you're going to think about if you really need, need this high level of flashlight for that price, of course, but I think it's, it is a good product, durable. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to get into flashlights so much. I think I, I'm, I'm, I know I'm happy I got this one, but I don't think I'll be buying uh, so many more. And for me, this is a good weekend uh, tool and my overall toolkit. Maybe throw it in a backpack if I'm you knowing I'm doing something at night. But um, it's not necessarily an everyday carry thing for me, and, but that's just me. But overall, high, uh, high uh, rating for uh, this flashlight. Thanks.